Hello everybody, welcome to my channel here on YouTube. This is Wine with Jimmy and I'm your host Jimmy Smith. This is a wine educational channel really designed to get help you get the best from wine and get more out of it, certainly if you are studying in the world of wine. So we aim these presentations at things like WSET. Now this series is WSET level four syllabus focused and this is on the Loire Valley. So this is part of a multi-part series on the Loire because it's a big old region and this is series five on the Saumur AOCs and this is part one of two. So there you are, that was a lovely picture of the castle of Chateau de Saumur. Here is series five on Samur AOCs, just split into these two parts. So part one is on Samur AOC and Côté de Samur AOC. This is available here on the world of YouTube as free content. Woo -woo! Uh, if you do have any comments, questions or concerns, you can pop them in the comments section below this video. Please make sure you click like and you click subscribe to also get our weekly updates. Part two, which is on Samo Champigny, which is where some beautiful red wines are produced, that is only available on my e-learning portal at www.winewithjimmy.com. So please click there to have a look at all of the exclusive content, plus things like flashcards and written questions that can help you with your studies. So in this video, we're going to talk about uh, the AOC of Samur and Côté de Samur. And we'll also look at some nice maps and a Google Earth 3D video to put it into all visual context for you. So let's rock and roll with our areas we are looking at in this section. Now, Samur, the city, the small city of Samur, to the southeast of Angers, on the Loire, is really um, the kind of beating heart of the Loire wine business. Most leading regional merchants have offices in this area or the city. Uh, the, the region really is quite famous around this area for tufo soils, uh, really that calcareous rock which was quarried over many centuries, leaving, of course, those gorgeous, perfect cellars to age wine and produce wine in, of course, in the landscape. So there you are of another picture of the castle. So this was the main castle, is the main castle of Samur, Chateau de Samur. It was originally constructed uh, as a fortified stronghold right at the end of the 10th century, uh, close to a Benedictine abbey. It was rebuilt by the English king Henri II in 1068, uh, and that's after the original fortress, along with the abbey, had burnt down in those rather uh, sort of challenging and dark ages. So that's what it looks like. It's small, you can visit, uh, really beautiful, overlooking, of course, the city of Samur. So let's talk about the main wine things here. So the main AOC, of course, is what we call Samur AOC. Uh, this appellation includes the production of white, red and pink still wines, as well as sparkling wines, which is covered in the sparkling unit uh, that I have created. Now, the soil here, as mentioned earlier, is calcareous, so it's limestone. So we have these limestone slopes, which are Senonian in origin, or Eocene in origin, so different epochs in time, but limestone, chalky-based soils. Now, generally, we're talking about a maritime climate just here. Uh, the summer hills buffer the westerly winds, and that gives the plots that are further from the Loire a more continental-based climate. The whites here, um, about 850 hectares, are made from Chenin Blanc. It must be a minimum of 80%. In reality, it's 100% Chenin Blanc. And the reds are principally from Cabernet Franc uh, and around 1,000 hectares of red production here. 
So that will also apply to Rosé production and Rosé Cabernet Franc and Cabernet Sauvignon uh, in terms of your, um, your your grape varieties. The yields are <clears throat> quite high. So uh, 57 hectolitres per hectare for reds and rosés and at 60 hectolitres per hectare for your whites. And it does mean that if you max them out, you can find wines of lower flavour intensity across the AOC. Then we have the Côte de Sameur. So Côte de Sameur AOC, roughly the, a similar area, slightly more scattered as you can see. The delimitation recognized a vast and well-exposed area, but in reality, we are only talking around 12 hectares of VO, um, vines in the AOC. Now, sweet Chenin Blanc wines here are made as Côte de Sameur, with overripe grapes, with or without botrytis. It does depend, and that will be the usual processes of walking through the vineyards a number of times to get the correct grapes with the sugar in terms of the production of sweetness of the wine. The maximum yields here are actually at 38 hectolitres per hectare, um, from the Loire Valley wines. I know in your text, I think it says 35. Um, so it's a little bit higher today. And it's from Chenin Blanc. The wines typically are sweet or luscious with a very high natural acidity, of course. So let's have a look at a video. So we get a really good uh, feel visually, of course, for the area. These are our Google Earth 3D video. So there is, of course, the Loire River or part of it. That's the viticultural landscape in Yellowy. And then we'll look at this area, which is the Anjou Sameur zone. So the red area as identified just here. And I think what we will do first of all, though, is we're going to look at the most important city in reference to the AOCs that we've just been talking about, which, of course, is the city of Samur, which sits mostly on the south bank or the east bank of the Loire Valley, the Loire River. So there you are. And we're going to take a good, good old look at the castle, uh, which we've seen a couple of pictures of already. So there's the wild river of the Loire, pretty much unnavigable today, but used in the past for a lot of commerce and trade. And there is the beautiful castle that looks very proudly and majestically over its landscape. That is the Chateau de Sameur, as you can see just there. How wonderful and how beautiful to put it in real context about where it sits. Uh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, so yes, that's your Chateau de Sameur. Now we're going to look at the AOCs we've just been talking about. So of course, the major AOC um, was the Sameur AOC, which covers whites, reds and rosés with about 850 uh, hectares of white, about a thousand for black grapes. And then a slightly more scattered area for Côte de Sameur, which in fact is only around 12 hectares in total production. Now, Champigny is going to come up here, but that in fact will be covered in another video. So I will stop this just now. But that brings me to an end of this video. So that's Sameur and Côte de Sameur. Part two uh, is Sameur Champigny. Uh, now, if you wish to have access to this, you'll need to sign up to my e-learning portal where I have hundreds of upon hundreds of videos to help you with your studies and extra extracurricular activities in terms of flashcards and so on as well. So please do go across there to have a look at that for your Samoa Champini. If you do have any comments, questions or concerns, pop them in the comments section below. Make sure you click like and subscribe as well. And if you are in the United Kingdom and you find yourself twiddling your thumbs in the great old city of London, in old Blighty, then come and see me for a class, a glass or a bottle. It's been a pleasure. I've been Jimmy Smith. Thank you so much. Goodbye.